Oh, and I realized I also had Nova versus Death listed as winner's quarters, even though it was supposed to be winner's. Er, I listed as winner's. Never mind. <laughs> I had it wrong on the scoreboard, but it's fine now. Whoops. All right, we're getting right into it. Here we are, Delta versus Toastfish. Again, the, uh, the Joker and the Wolf they go at each other. Delta with the uh, the banana Joker, I guess the the poop wolf color. I'm just kidding. It's not poop. It's like orange. Um, Toastfish doing a good job, sort of zoning out right now. Um, Delta trying to play evasive, you know, with the the Joker. Both these characters very agile, um, but um, I would say I would say Joker, you know, a little bit more nimble in terms of trying to weave in and out and, and get those combo starters where um, Wolf focuses more on, on zoning and then uh, then approaching through the air, you know, getting a, getting a fair, getting a Tomahawk grab or something to, to start up with. So um, both characters fairly even right now. Uh, Delta actually throwing up that counter, you know, an extremely good counter, but, um, you know, it's still a counter, so it can be kind of predictable if, if you use that over and over again. So those fish will have to watch out for that. Uh, Delta losing Arsene. Um, not really doing too much for him. And Toaster's trying to find a way to, to line up this kill. Looking for a back air, a jump from ledge or something, panic. Uh, some sort of panic option. And the up tilt will not take it. And Delta going to actually air dodge into stage. The parry up smash actually not connecting, but the raw up smash will. Delta losing his first stock at 150%. Toaster's only at 62. So Delta's got a little bit of uh, ground to make up, but you know, one or two Rebels guard. We'll bring Arsene back, and then it's uh, probably curtains for Wolf, because Joker with Arsene can be really, really tough to deal with. But we'll see. Wolf's just doing alright so far, at least. And Delta. I'm gonna re -grab. actually not punished by Toastfish. Toastfish, though, turn around, the up tilt. Um, most of Wolf's moves fairly safe on shield, so. Um, really no harm in doing that. And actually going to take that jump with the uh, back air. Delta now forced to recover low. Doesn't get hit by the two frame, but in a ledge trap situation here. And um, Toastfish taking as much percentage as you can in, in these, these ledge traps for sure. Um, Wolf, one of the best characters to ledge trap with in the game. And uh, that back air will take the second stock. Now Delta, two stocks behind. Needs to find a kill quickly, yet safely. Not, not gain too much percent. Um, in the process. Uh, Delta right now just kind of throwing moves out, hoping you will hit. Imagine playing a top tier. Yeah, imagine, dude. That'd be crazy. Toastfish. Off stage here. Delta trying to ledge trap. Really good fade back and, and catching the landing there. That was really smart. Delta now stuck on the ledge again. Gonna re grab once again. And don't punish, but catches the drop out of shield there. Um, Toastfish now setting up the ledge trap again. The counter will finally let it hit its mark against the jab, um, but of course jab not a very strong move. Not going to do a whole lot countered against. Toastfish now at 141. The raw F smash catching the shield drop will take it. Delta now still on their last stock, but um, has at least put a dent into Toastfish's uh, stock pool here. So um, good up B grab. I'm not familiar if that goes through shields or not actually, but um, regardless, it was good to catch on the landing. And Delta now still playing fairly safe, fairly evasive, building up this damage slowly against Toastfish. Toastfish trying to close the stock out, um, sort of throwing out options. And um, Delta's sort of taking advantage of that right now. Toastfish now still just trying to close the stock out. Whereas Delta, you know, as we said before, just slowly but surely building up the damage, but missing that tech will cause Toastfish to seal the deal. Take that last stock and win game one. 2-0. Oh, I think Delta's been playing Joker for a while. Um, between Joker and Lucina, I think those are the two uh, characters that Delta's really been focusing on. Um, I think Delta feels a little bit limited by Joker. As, you know, or uh, not by Joker, but by Lucario, because Lucario kind of sucks. And we'll get the, uh, the stage strikes here. Plus, we're just going to be banning Kalos and Final Destination. 
We'll see where Delta goes. Um, not quite sure if we'll see a character swap or what. I think Joker does fine in this matchup. I don't think it's... You know, if, if we would see a, a swap, it would probably just be a comfort thing, if anything. Um, and Toastfish actually swapping to Captain Falcon as we go to Smashville. So Toastfish looking for some uh, sweet clips. Lucario would be good if they got rid of Aura. I agree completely. Just give Lucario, let all his moves function as if he was at like half Aura, and he'd be great. You know what I'm saying? But we will see the Lucina swap from Delta. Had to answer something. Um, let's see. Toastfish. We gotta swap those. Toastfish with the Captain Falcon here. Um, at a little bit of a deficit. Um, I think Lucinda does fairly well in this matchup, I, I would think. Um, Captain Falcon, of course, um, has a couple disjoints, but um, a sortie will um, typically be uh, or do well against a, a brawler sort of matchup. Oh, and the, I like the aggressive shield breaker off the ledge, but uh, speaking of aggressive, that Captain Falcon kick. Um, just right from the middle of the stage. We'll take the first stock in Toastfish's favor now. Toastfish looking for a grab to set up some sort of uh, combo off the stage here. Goes for the dare, of course, as every Captain Falcon does. Um, does not find it, and now Delta looking to punish the tech. I like that dash back F smash, actually. Recognizing that Toastfish wants to approach linearly um, with either a, a dash tech or a raptor boost. Um, Delta taking advantage of that a little bit. I'm trying to space out, and again, the dash back, um, F-Tilt, able to punish that once again. Delta now sort of in the corner, Toastfish in the corner, and Delta going to punish the uh, turn back, and actually no tech there by Delta, and oh, I thought they had a jump, but did not. Now Delta now one stock left to two stocks after taking that raw F-Smash to the face. Toastfish will be down stock here one more than they were previously at least. Delta now needs to get something started. And Toastfish catches the jump out of the combo with the knee. And that'll be curtains. Toastfish is Captain Falcon taking game two and the set. We'll be moving on to winner's semis of Pie Smuggler versus Nova. And then uh, 